Here we are heading out for our first trip of the coming summer season. Normally we are heading up to the mountains or something like that, but heading out to Reno for a basketball tournament, but we are going through the mountains to get there. This is almost the first of June. Looks like summer, doesn't it? Just really thanking the Lord that we're even able to come here. Uh, Jennifer's dad, grandpa, he gave us some money for hotel and some food. And here we are, we're gonna see what John does. One of the big things we've been praying about is about John's college. We don't really have money to send him, but he wants to play ball and get his education, especially at a Christian college. So here we are at the biggest basketball tournament on the West Coast. See if uh, something happens for him. It's the first time I've been somewhere with 900 teams. Uh, let alone anything over like 100, maybe 200. Um, it's insane, actually. It's a blessing to like think about being able to come up here. Um, looking forward to it, seeing what happens, see what uh, see what God uh, does through me, and see if I get any opportunities to do anything awesome. up their defense and kind of took away my options because I wasn't where I was so and I wasn't shooting very well either so we'll see what happens tomorrow. We're heading out for our continental breakfast this morning. It's one of the reasons we came to this hotel. Free breakfast, kind of nice. Okay, day number two, win number three in a row. We've got uh, about a three hour break, and then we have the next game, see if we can make it four in a row. But for now, we're just gonna have lunch here, a little uh, trunk time lunch. The first game of the day, we won. It was a battle, but it wasn't, we were up ahead the whole game, but it wasn't It wasn't a blowout. It was a tough game, physical game. I had probably my, one of my best games this season. guarding their best player the whole time and he didn't score all game so I would call it a successful game. And so we moved on after that game to play in the quarterfinal game, I mean the semifinal game. half, 12, 30 seconds before half. We lost it by one.
because we gave up 30 some odd offensive rebounds. Just one too many. We beat him in the second half. We beat him by eight in the second half. Seven in the second half, but last night I did alright in that game too. I had the 10 points. And then um, <laughs> So yeah, we're playing in the a game right now. I guess you'd call it a consolation game. So if we win this, we play for third place tomorrow. If we lose, then we don't play for anything. We just play again tomorrow. Game five didn't start out so good. The other team came out very strong and opened with a big lead. At halftime, they were still ahead by eight. By this third game of the day, John was exhausted. He only took four shots, but did manage to knock down a three. Alright, we won. Uh, it was tough. I was exhausted. Yeah, it was fun. Now, it's time to play for third place. One of our big prayers this past year has been to be able to spend more time with John who lives with his mom. It was awesome to spend this three-day weekend with him. Concerning scholarships, after the tournament, John walked with his coach to get some shirts from his car. His coach, who is the assistant coach at William Jessup University, ended up giving John the phone numbers to get a hold of the head coach of the university. It has really looked like the Lord has been opening some things up at that school, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what God has planned for John.